Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP19 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode, we're off to Mategi, and we could potentially wrap up the championship here if we get enough points over Dallaporta. So let's see how the qualifying goes for Mategi. A bastard of a track to me. So already set the fastest lap, but um, in free practice they were in the 203s, so we need to make sure that we're within the 203s as well so yeah for this one we need to leave Mitegi with a 75 point lead or more and then that is job done so there's only four races left including this one so 100 points left on the table if we leave here with more than 75 points in the bag then uh that will be job done i just hope that it all kind of comes together here because it never usually does Mategi is that pain in the ass track for me where it just likes to uh, mess shit up for me. So going to have to go careful and make sure that we just get some points and get as many points as we can. If that means we have to finish directly behind Della Porta, then so be it. But yeah, just need to make sure we finish. Don't have a DNF and uh, hopefully we will be in the running for the championship. That's what I'm hoping for. Our lap time is looking good at the moment. Let's see if we can maintain that to the end. So yeah, after this we've got Phillip Island, Sepang and Valencia. And then, off to Moto2, which I'm really looking forward to. And then we'll be doing another season with Moto2. And then we will be off to MotoGP. And of course, the league will be starting Sunday. All of the uh, 12 riders have been announced now. All of their times have been announced. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Okay. So far, so good. Our lap time is looking good. So we just need to make sure we get the chicane correct. And we do. Just a run to the line. It's looking pretty good. 2039 for Messia. 2034 for me. Nice. I think that will do it. I think that will be enough. It was enough. We are starting on pole position at Mategi. We're now transmitting from the starting grid where everything seems ready. It's always difficult to predict the results of a Moto 3 race, but the riders we're seeing right now definitely seem to be the favourites. Right, soft front, medium rear, usual combination. Let's do it. With the riders on the starting grid, the countdown begins until the lights go off. Just a few moments to go, and the Japanese Grand Prix will begin. Okay. Looking forward to this. Kind of. Not really, it's Mategi. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's find out together. Here we go. So that was an okay start. We've lost a couple of positions, but now we're getting up to speed. I'm going to have to try and be aggressive as well. Oh, okay, out the saddle. Right, let's just uh, try and follow Messi and see if we can get in front of him. If I can get in front of him and just get a clear track, I will be very, very happy. At the same time, I don't want to go stupid and like tuck the front or anything like that. We'll lose a rear. So we can't go too stupid. We just need to make sure that uh, we are in a good position. I mean, Della Porta qualified fairly far down. So I don't know whereabouts he is. We won't find that out until we go across the start finish line. And then they all come up on the left hand side of the screen. But yeah, this could be the one. If it finishes as it is, we will be the Moto3 World Champions. But uh, there's a long way to go. Seven laps around here. There's a big old train behind me. So we could lose positions quite quickly. Messiah is actually pulling away. I cannot go with him. I'm just going to keep pushing for a little bit see if we can just get a gap behind us more than anything if we start closing back in on Messiah then that's a bonus 
But I think that uh, I just want to see if we can get a bit of daylight between myself and the pack behind. We are pulling away a little bit. It's almost a second. So we need to uh, keep them at arm's length so that we don't lose a shed load of positions. And hopefully that will enable us to get the championship. That is the goal here. It's our first proper chance to claim the championship. Oh, Delaport has got him up to 6th. i just seen there he's overtaken someone and he's up to 6th. That is not good enough for him. I will start worrying if he starts putting in fastest laps, but at the moment it's fine. So 6th place for... Dalla Porter. That is good news for me. We have a few people in between ourselves. So that is going to help me out a hell of a lot. Yeah, I can't match the pace of Messiah. Messiah is just slowly edging away. So just going to have to let him go. I haven't got the pace to, uh, to catch him. So I just need to make sure that I keep my pace up. So that we don't lose any positions. Just keep it going. So it's a second to Messiah. The guys behind are pretty close. Once the tyres start going off, I think we may hit a bit of trouble. But I'm hoping that medium rear will uh, hold out long enough to uh, not lose any positions. Need to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes either. Okay, so point 0.8 to the guys behind, point 0.9 to Messiah. Haven't seen Dalla Porter's name flash up at all. I don't know if he's still in sixth or if he's fallen back down a bit or if he's made a few positions up. I don't think he's made any posi positions up yet. So I'm assuming he is still in sixth position. We'll find out as we go po past the uh, start finish. Yeah, Phillip Island next. Love Phillip Island. So Messi is just on a 2039. I've just done a 2043. Delaporter is still in sixth, so he's not making any inroads at the moment. Canet's just on a 2036. So Canet is on the move. Hopefully, he's not in such a hurry that he uh, gets past me, but it doesn't matter. All we've got to do is finish ahead of Delaporter. It doesn't even matter if we finish like. 14th place and Dalla Porter finishes 15th, we will still take the title. Just keep it on going. Yeah, Messia just edging away, but we are edging away from the guys behind. It's over a second to the guys behind now, which is good to Mino. So we are kind of drifting into that lonely area at the moment where no one is attacking me, but we can't attack anyone either. I tell you what, Messiah looks a lot closer now. He is closer. Point eight. Are we starting to catch him? Wow. Maybe, just maybe, we can get past Messiah. I don't know. But he's definitely closer than what he was, so that's a bit promising. As we come round to finish lap three of seven. Dalaporter's crashed. Dalaporter has crashed. That is not good news for him. It's just that he's crashed again. He's at the points. It is game over for Lorenzo Dalaporter. That is it.
That is it. He is way down now. 24th. Wow, okay. Was not expecting that. So our main championship rival is now moved up to 28th. Now 29th. Wow, okay. That is really good news for me. Wow, that's uh, awesome. So Lorenzo Della Porta has crashed out. He will be very, very lucky to score any points whatsoever from back there. Um, and he's not got a huge amount of time to do it in. So that's it, game over. I think even if I crash, that's pretty much job done. But hopefully I won't. I don't want to crash, I want to just carry on going. If we can get second place, that would be that would be good. Be on the podium as we win the championship. Oh, gone in too hot here. I can hear those guys still behind, so they're still not far behind at all. Into the next hairpin. Again, wide. Yeah, Messi is starting to pull away again. I've made a few mistakes on this lap. Maybe getting a bit overexcited with Dalaport crashing out. But yeah, he's basically handed me that championship now. Did look like he was struggling down in sixth. So this has pretty much worked out perfectly for me. He's moved up a few positions, but he's still way out of the points. I think he's going to struggle to get in the points now. On to lap five. Three laps left to go. McPhee just set the fastest lap of the race. 203.654. Okay. No. Dalla Porter has gone quicker. 203.648. He is angry. But unfortunately for him, it doesn't matter. Because everyone else is still going to be going pretty quick in comparison. So it's going to take him a, a while to uh, to get going. He's moved up to 25th. 10 places he needs to make up to get a single point. But even that will not be enough. He needs to start lapping significantly quicker than myself and Messia if he wants a chance. But it's not going to happen for him. 24th. I can't believe he crashed out. That's crazy. Of all the people to crash out in this race. And it was my uh, main championship rival. He's up to 23rd. So he is making positions up. But of course, the higher he gets, the uh, the quicker the rivals will be to try and overtake. See, now we're catching Messier again. But I think it's mainly just that, the nature of that corner, 1.3. Still not a second to the guys behind. On the brakes way too early then. That's allowed them to close in a bit. Haven't seen Dalla Porter's name pop up. Oh, there we go. 22nd he's just moved up to. I was about to say he's gone quiet. But he's only got two laps to go. And he's in 22nd place. And we are in second. Sorry, Dalla Porter, but it's over. It is over. We are going to win the championship here at Mategi. My nemesis track. It's all gone our way today. And we head to Phillip Island as the champions. So, okay. So the next goal is to win the team championship. That's what we've got to do next. But yeah, Phillip Island, I, I enjoy that track. It's a pang, I don't mind. And then we go to Valencia, which I hate. So we've got two good tracks and one crap track, but um, hopefully we can have some uh, decent results on all three just to help with the team championship. So 
So we are on the penultimate lap, lap six of seven. One lap left to go. And we're done. Yeah, Delaporte is not making up many positions at all now. Haven't seen his name pop up for quite some time now. I think he's kind of realised it's done. It is over. I think we have been quite lucky though, especially considering when the game first came out, you had Buthamos and Garcia at the front pretty much every race. And then when the uh, patch came out, they nerfed them and put the guys that were more regularly at the front at the front in the game. So, um, yeah, it's uh, that definitely played into our, our hands because when we had bad results, and like Dalla Porter and, and Canet and people like that had decent results, they were so far off the points anyway that it didn't really matter. Okay. So 203606. Fastest lap for Mino. Are they starting to speed up behind? We are on the final lap. So yeah, definitely not catching Messiah. I just hope that uh, the guys behind don't catch me. I hope we can have a nice peaceful final lap and not uh, fly out of the seat. Point eight. I just don't want him to have a lunge. I mean, not that it matters, but I would like to finish at least on the podium. The win is completely out of the question, but podium, second place, it's definitely up for grabs. So that gap behind has never really been over a second the whole lap, the whole race. Our pace has been pretty equal, although they have been setting faster lap times. They just haven't been able to bridge that little gap. I mean, if Canet and Mino continue fighting, that's going to help me out because they'll just hold each other up. We've gone very wide, very wide. Completely mess that one up, that's going to help them out. It's going to help them out a lot. a few corners to go and that will be it well it's been a well hasn't been a, the most exciting of races for me stuck in second place the whole race but what that does mean is that we are going to be the Moto3 world champions first time of triumph there we go done Job done. Thank you, Dalla Porter, for making my job a hell of a lot easier in that race. There we go. Moto3 World Champion. At least we get that when we actually do that rather than at the end of the season. So where did he finish? Um, oh. 22nd, I think he was. Yeah, 22nd. Okay. So yeah, didn't make up a lot of positions at all, did he? That's it. Oh, Messiah's actually moved into second place. 110 points behind, so Dallaport has lost second. Not a good day for him. Nice gap over uh, the CIP Green Power KTM team. Leopard really closing in on them as well. In fact, they'll probably be past him in the Even next race. He managed to win the race today, he still put on a great show. The applause from the team and the fans. You should be a lot just happier considering you've just won the title. <laughs> Right then, Phillip Island. And I've also gone for a championship winning helmet as well. So you'll see that when we start qualifying. We're moving now to the Moto3 class grid where engineers and technicians are ironing out the last so few details. So qualifying, absolute stars. crap. They've got some serious pace around here and I just cannot go anywhere near them. I'm like right towards the back of the field. And I ain't kidding. Nowhere near, so there's no point in me even showing you qualifying because, yeah, we are right at the back. I think we're like either second or third row from the back. That's how bad it was. Just a few moments to go, and another Australian Grand Prix will begin here at Phillip Island. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much here. Might struggle to get in the points. 
So here we are. There's my helmet. Gold. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that was a good start. That was a very good start. Yeah, we were starting in like 25th place. So not good, not ideal. Making up a load of places though. That was a great start. We're nearly in the points already. Maybe the race will be different from qualifying and free practice. But yeah, free practice. I was like second to last. Um, so I had to go through Q1 and it just didn't work. Didn't work at all. Ricardo Rossi has crashed. Yeah, got stuck in Q1 and could not do anything. But yeah, they really do have some serious pace around here. And I just couldn't, couldn't deal with it. So we're into 11th place. Can I get inside the top 10? That would be nice. Into the Honda hairpin. Try and get out better. No. Alright, going to have to go around the outside of two of them. There we go, we're up to 9th. The Guru has crashed. Okay, we've got a good line there. Through this left, Lukey Heights. And break for turn 10, which I hate. Couldn't quite get up the inside of Rodrigo. There we go. Eighth place, that's not bad. Considering how bad qualifying was, I'll take eighth. Maybe if uh, Rodrigo has anything to say about it though, but we we'll close that door. So I've definitely been suffering coming out this final corner. Can it done a 146A? I done a 148A, so like two seconds off. I know we had to make up loads and loads of positions on lap one. We're gonna do eight laps around here. But yeah, just haven't got the pace to do much. I thought this race was going to be like a walk in the park, but no, certainly isn't. Like, that gap is extending to the guys ahead. I'm not going to get any higher than eighth into Honda hairpin again. Oh, just been nerfed by someone. I'll have that back, thank you very much. No, okay, he's got other ideas. So that is Ramirez who's behind us and he's, uh, yeah, trying to barge his way through but not letting him. That is a bit concerning though because he's probably going to come through eventually. Probably sooner rather than later as well, yeah. He's trying to have a go into turn 10. But luckily for us we're already champions. So, the points don't really matter, only towards the team championship. Okay. Oh, I can hear him gaining. Yeah, there he goes. We're losing so much time out of that final corner. Can't even get back past him. Not happening. So, unfortunately, it's down to uh, ninth place now. We were in eighth. Oh no, we're down to tenth because uh, Suzuki has come through. Try and get back past him if we can. Now they're just pulling away. I swear their bikes are quicker in a straight line. So tenth place. Oh no, here comes Rodrigo again. Might struggle to hold on a 10th there. We might struggle to stay in the points. I thought we were going to do alright after getting like a really great start and getting up to 8th. I thought maybe 8th place was settled down. But no, they've started speeding up, haven't they? gold helmet in it that's what it is it's a bit pretentious but we are the champions okay 
it's on the helmet I didn't really change much I obviously changed the color to gold I changed the stars and the, the slash marks to black um, I got rid of the red and black camo uh, strip down the middle and replaced it with a black number one changed uh, the Robo font on the back to black as well So fighting for 10th place. Didn't think I was going to be doing that here. Tell you what, it's a bloody good job we have uh, wrapped up the title. So otherwise I might have been starting to get a little bit worried. Like that's a huge gap to the guys in front. And I've still got to try and fend off Rodrigo. Oh, that wasn't Rodrigo. I think that was Vietti. But that's sent in wide. So that's... Uh, Helped us a little bit. Okay, so 1.6 to Suzuki. Yeah, we're not catching him, are we? We're coming to the end of lap four of eight. So we've still got a way to go. Two seconds now to the guys in front. We are losing big chunks of time, like pretty much everywhere. But definitely suffering coming out of this corner. Fourth gear is a little bit too short. Fifth gear is maybe a little bit too long. I think uh, really needed to change the gearing. We are on lap 5, we are maintaining 10th place. I don't know how, how much longer for though. I hope for the rest of the race, but it's not happening. It's another tough race. Just got to keep it going, keep it going. And a Honda hairpin braked a little bit late at that time. No, and they're still coming through. That's Vietti again. And he got it stopped and got it turned and got it out. Right, can I shove up the inside? No. Well, that's another place gone. 11th place. That's not good. I'm going to struggle to get back through as well. Using a bit of slipstream. Going a bit too wide. Can't get through on Vietti yet. I think that's going to be job done for him because we're going to start hemorrhaging time on him now. A bit too hot into that. A bit too wide as well, yeah. That's him done. Not going to catch him now. Wow. 11th. Not even top 10. Yeah, they... They pull away so much down the straight, and we're actually being caught as well by uh, Rodrigo again. I can hear him. He's going to come through. No, no, not quite. Just shut the door at the last minute. I think he will eventually come through, though. It's not going to be long until he does. So they definitely seem to be able to take the Honda hairpin a bit better although they seem to rush in and like go slow out but because they get in the way they kind of hold you up as well so their technique is working yeah if I'd done that it would go completely wrong yeah there he goes Rodrigo's through try and hang it around the outside put me up the inside for the left yeah that's worked sorry mate you're gonna have to fight for the 11th place Still ahead of McPhee. So after this one, we've got two laps to go. Holding on by the skin of our teeth to 11th place. Gone in too hot again. Is he through? No, he's not.
tough, tough race. You know, I think uh, Sepang might end up being a tough race as well because it's got a few straights on it. Canet is in uh, the lead, Dalla Porter in second. That's going to help Leopard with the points because Ramirez is in front of me as well. And McPhee is behind me, so we're not going to score a hell of a lot of points for uh, our Petronas team. I'm pretty sure that uh, Leopard are going to move ahead of the CIP Green Power KTM team. They weren't that far behind anyway, but they're going to be scoring some decent points. So, Oh, no, there he goes again. I'm going to try and do exactly the same. Hang out on the outside to put me up the inside for the left. And we're back in front. Oh, gone wide on the exit though. If he's got any sense, he'll just wait for the straight. If he's got any sense. But we are on the penultimate lap. One lap to go after this one. Can I hold on for one more lap to 11th place? Can't believe I'm saying that. Oh no, he's through. He is through. Up the inside I go. Come on, no, gone wide, gone wide. Is he through? No, he's not. Okay, so holding it for now. But I think it's going to be short-lived. He's going to be coming back through. In fact, he's trying to get up the inside now through the final corner. He tried that earlier on in the race. Didn't work, but it's worked now. There he goes. We'll just get a nice little slingshot out of there. Going to have to try and use his slipstream. Uh oh, McPhee is through. I just realised I didn't change into sixth gear, so that was a stupid move, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, can't believe I just done that. So we've lost two places now. Now we're down to 13th. McPhee is ahead of me. I'm going to have to try everything I can. I might have to be a bit aggressive as well, just to try and get back past him. So, on the brakes, shove up the inside, sorry McPhee, oh, and then he took us both out. No, he's on the inside, come on, he's probably going to get me out the final corner. I can't believe this is happening. Through Lukey Heights, come on. Oh, come on. Thanks for that little nudge. That's going to allow him through, and now we're on the inside for the left. Yeah, you can be sat up. Thank you very much. That may have just let us off the hook. That may have just let us off the hook. So we're looking at 12th place here. Could be 13th, though. Lorenzo Della Porta is one. It is a really good job that we've already wrapped up the title. We are going to get 12th. Wow. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. I can't believe I forgot to change in the 6th gear. They were in the 138s. I was nowhere near that one. 40.1. I mean, championship's done, so that doesn't matter. But it's all about the team championship now. And we would have lost a hell of a load of points there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, Della Porta back up to second. Yeah, they are closing in. They are closing in. Judging from the riders and mechanics disappointment, they held very different expectations for this weekend. The best thing to yeah, do now is move I on certainly to did. I was expecting to be a lot more competitive. Race. But oh well, can't win them all. And that is fine. So then, championship is done. Two races left to go, Sepang and Valencia. Looking forward to Sepang. Not so much Valencia, but out of Valencia, we can pick our Moto2 team. So let's look at the championship standing, starting with Red Bull Rookies Cup. That wouldn't have changed anyway, because I think their final round is Valencia, maybe. Moto3, obviously I've won that. Delaport second, Messia third, Canet fourth, Garcia in fifth. Moto2. 
Schrotter is still leading that from Baldessari second, Luti third, Marquez fourth, and Gardner in fifth. Then MotoGP. Oh, Marquez has moved into the lead now from Alex Rins, Valentino Rossi, Andrea De Vizioso, and Daniello Petrucci. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.